the Milwaukee Bucks. Parker was averaging 20 points and six rebounds, having an outstanding season. Yeah, they've been struggling a little bit to find some. Cannot post it. Pacers running, and Turner pounds it! Here was signed late last year. Oh, no, no. Good find. Miles really good three. Find. Yeah. Now he calls for it. On Beasley, and now to Dedekumbo. Snell, a three-point try. Well, that's why they, that's off the grip. It was a Milwaukee 18-point win at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Found him again. In that short corner. That's how you got the shot there. And then Paul George fell asleep. Milwaukee shot 57%. That's the highest percentage against the Pacers this year. And that's Kevin Serafin. We'll do. They'll, they'll pick you up full court, regardless of who's playing. Teague inside leads it off for Serafin, who pounds it home. We'll take advantage of the youngster. Ellis leads the break to the basket. And Monte Ellis, the... Monte has had two nice games off the bench. Rocked it Great by block. Serafin. Oh, boy. Monroe oh, beat Jefferson, and it's a nine-point lead. Quarter in Milwaukee last night. 76-55 at the half. Lakers to Lenovich. That was the Lakers. It's about attack him. There's no way he can it. Serafin jumps it in. No way. You know, back up. There's no need to be out there trying to challenge that. Yeah, that's he a, wants this ball badly. He feels like he can make shots. He almost took the ball. About back in the day, an unbelievable decade that you were a part of as the Bucks get the basket with ball to the Eastern Conference Finals and results in a trip to the NBA Finals. Take me back to those days with Mark Jackson, Reggie, Antonio, as you guys were making all those runs. Well, I mean, it was uh, an exciting time. I mean, we... We did a lot of things together on the court. And the, uh, as you know uh, from experience, I mean, the, the, the team is your family. You're there with them, you know, day in and day night for months and months. And, you know, from playing, from a playing standpoint, you learn each other and learn, you know, how each other play, where, they, where we're at at all times. And we really, it's underestimated, but we had a lot of intelligent players. Oh, I think that escalated into a, a pretty good tradition and uh you know we we love playing those guys what's what is i mean doing that era, what is the absolute best memory you have of that era? like when you play um and and take those guys out break monroe inside i, I know what i gotta ask you we, we, you might have figured mark was going to be doing television because you, know, you know mark mark has got that right. gift how about reggie doing television I know. <laughs> Stranger things has have happened, but uh, in a nutshell, he's doing a, 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 a great job uh, and, and made a great career out of it. and he missed it. It looks odd, but he's like their second, I think about their second best three-point shooter. Yeah, he's shooting 42%. He's the number one rookie three-point shooter, and he was a second-round draft pick, pick number 36. As Miles back in for his third three. If the small guy can change uh, direction and go get it, Miles couldn't stop himself even if he got it. Well, George had two early first booter fouls. Beasley inside to Maker. Vaughn Maker got the start in the post tonight. Trying to grab something. Yeah. Well, the what he grabbed was a pen of and pulled it down. He didn't, he didn't beat that at all. Ellis, good hands by Turner. Turns and scores. Good finding by the basket. The so basket looked the best. Knocked it down, that fella. They're stringing together a good year this year, so you can see there's some good players in that second round. Pacers trail by 12 inside the final two of the half. Ellis hops to the basket. And he not only hopped, he threw it over the maker and Beasley, and, and, and you're down. Turner. Shot clock at four. Pacers in trouble. It's Ellis with three to shoot the long three. I said you two games ago that Monte was starting to get back. Living in Cleveland, now the starting point guard, sharing time with Malcolm Brogdon, the rookie. Let's have to to Miles Turner and let him shoot. Off the glass, it's perfect and beat the shot clock. Because this man is going to have a hard time coming. On a 7 0 run that dates back to the end of the first half as T gets inside. And now Allen for another field goal. Indiana's cut it to four. And a timeout taken.
by Jason Kidd. Yet to score here in the third. He played two and a half minutes. He didn't set the screen. Now you might get the screen was finally set. Miles to tie it. Quick pass by the boy Allen, too. He was able to get it because it was close to being in front of the rim, and that's why it came spinning out so hard, actually, toward you and I. Beasley missed it. Baker the rebound. And with a left hand, Adetta Kumbo. And that's that link. Baker oh, and Adetta Kumbo. I'm telling you. I think he was trying to pass it, it looked like, to Myers. I, he, he may have been, but he got swallowed by Adetta Kumbo and, and uh, Beasley. He had nowhere to go. Just like that, a seven point Milwaukee lead. Zazoli for another three. Too strong. Adetta Kumbo right down the center of the floor. And that was a, a, a gamble, but that's what we talked about with this guy. Right? Yeah, at least he's fighting for it. Yeah, that's what happens with young teams. They play well against good teams, and they don't play well against average teams. And Monroe down the lane. Nobody there to greet him. Nobody picked him up. Inside, no good. Rebound tipped out. Here comes Brogdon. The Bucks, with just over four minutes to play, have regained the lead, and Snell for another three. He's hit four tonight. They reset the shot clock because the ball hit, yeah, the, hit rim. the rim. Yeah, it hit the rim. And he got it in his hands. He hit the rim. They don't say how. Well, he's feeling very confident. Paul George was in, as they say, in his grill. And he just drilled a three. Tough shot by George. Rebound offensive by Allen. Pass into George. And now Teague right back to PG for three. That's what, that, that was basically... In motion, that's fight. Lenovich now five of eight from three-point range. Stucky, Jefferson, George, Ellis, and Robinson, and two more for Jefferson. He's got eight. Back to backs. They won their last three game twos at home. Milwaukee playing the 12 of 18 back to backs. Oh! And that's oh, oh, oh. off the bench to check into the next dead ball. Seven plus to play. Pacers trying to get back in it. Show and go. Ellis for two more. Is that Monroe again on the same move? He didn't get the dunk it, but it was a little show and go as you said, Mark. Kevin Serafin or uh, McCoy Allen. Pacers have had to go to that small lineup as you said. Here's Teague. Shot clock at four. Miles inside the York. And C.J. Miles knocks it down a 20-point night. He had 23 matching the season quarter. With Winbacher, Jeremiah Johnson, our entire crew, I'm Chris Denary. Pacers trying to snap this two-game losing streak. Losses to Cleveland and Washington. Baker for three. Over Miles Turner. 103-88 as the Bucks looking to win again in Indianapolis. It would be three of the last five. And Brogdon, another three. This has had a big night for the Pacers. Tries to draw the foul, but can't do it. Well, he's got a 10 point ball. Pacers have had some good performances individually tonight. And one of those for Monte Ellis, who has 18. What he's had to do for the Pacers. The Pacers had a disappointing loss here last year at home to the Milwaukee Bucks. George's jump shot good, so he reaches double figures, 11 for PG. That's his second three and a quick timeout, 52. And then Milwaukee took control back with nine straight points and has not looked back. George, quick three. Shot. Yeah, shot. Bucks will take a 2-0 advantage in this season series. And that's how it's been all night. And they win it 116-100 as the Milwaukee Bucks improved to 23 and 30 on the year. In, in all sports, like I said before, they always they're supporting us regardless of ups or downs, and uh, they did a good job of uh, cheering us on and uh, giving us some, giving us some life tonight. So, we'll see. Russell, that third quarter was a little chippy, not just with you, but with Andre too. What, what was going on there? Um, exactly what you said. It got chippy. How do you feel that the team responded to, to that chickenness in that third quarter? I thought we did great. Were you surprised by how much, how much boos there were for uh, your former teammate? Uh, no, I wasn't.
Anyone else for Russell? Russell you, ever, you ever been in a game with an atmosphere quite like that? Yeah, you know, honestly, uh, when I used to be in the league, I used to, I used to get booed in all the arenas. So, you know, you know. The tables has turned a little bit, so I'm not, you know, I, I, I've been there and, and did that before. So, happens, come out, compete, and, you know, it is what it is. What did you think of the way? The next time you see a bunch of these guys, it'll be as teammates in New Orleans. What's that going to be like? Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out. Considering the, the, the way the last game played out mm -hmm. with, with Zaza Petrulia, what did you think of the way that you guys stood your ground tonight, particularly with Andre and Kevin kind of coming face to face in that third quarter? Pretty good. Do you think it's silly that so many people care about you and KD and, and what y'all think? Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's over with. He plays for his team. I live with my team. Let him do his thing. I do my thing. And that's it. Plain and simple. Russell, do you consider this uh, between the Thunder and the Warriors a rivalry? No. 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 Why? Because I don't. <laughs>